hello and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to cover a lot of things in this video if you have not subscribed my youtube channel just subscribe and also share this video on your social media okay also if you have not subscribed my newsletter on linkedin just subscribe it okay so you will be getting very nice articles here also i will be sharing article related to this video here on linkedin okay so stay connected with me on the linkedin so let's get started uh, to create a service account okay you have to first of all open i am an admin okay just click on here okay and go to i am dashboard we will be creating a service account this will be uh, used uh, later on our video so you have to just create a new account okay when you are on i am an admin page just go to service account and here we will create the service account okay create a service account just give a name uh, i will give name youtube video okay so simple you can just give name tutorial okay so this is how it will be created just create and continue we are not going to give access right now for just uh, create it and complete it so our account is created you can see this service account is created okay no we have to just give a one access here just go to the IAM okay so here we will uh, grant access to our new account just click on grant access okay you have to select your uh, YouTube or video service account okay and then here we will just be giving access storage okay storage admin okay just give this access and save it okay and here you will see and yeah if you just go back to your service account just click on these three dots manage keys and just create a new key in the JSON file it will download the JSON file we will use this JSON file uh, on our github actions okay so just uh, save this file okay let me create it my file is now created okay so no we have created our service account this is uh, done it is very simple to create a service account on Google Cloud no we have to just add two things which is uh, these credentials on our github actions okay and the second thing is we have to add a secret variable which is a google project name this is my project name okay and i will be just going to you add this on the github actions as well so your project name can be uh, different okay so what i am going to do here okay i will just going to push my code on the github first of all okay this is my project okay uh, first update I'm just going to push my code onto the github publish branch okay public I'm um, because I'll be sharing this with you guys so I'm just keeping it public but you can uh, keep your uh, repo in a private okay I will just open this this is my okay project okay how we have to add this JSON file that we have downloaded just click on settings and go here to the secrets okay click on actions and here you have to click on new repository secret okay so we will be just uh, in your doing this to uh, add secret that will be required later on our video okay so I will just going to uh, create our first variable which will be Google application credentials okay this is the same C, uh, file JSON file that we have uh, created I will be just open this file okay and we will just copy the content of this file and I will add this content here it is very simple okay so just let me open this okay so this is the content I will just copy this all the JSON file content okay and I will close this file and I will paste it here simple okay so we have to just save it okay this is our first secret we have to add then we have to add our google project name okay 
so I will just click on new okay Google project okay so if you go your uh, Google project and if you click here this is your Google project ID okay just copy this okay ID and paste it simple so we have added our required uh, secret okay so what we have done here in this part we done creating our service account and we have done uh, adding these secrets into our uh, github actions okay okay now what we have to do here we have to add our github actions self-hosted runner using a uh, google compute engine okay so to create a google compute engine instance just go to compute engine vm instances here we will create a first instance okay just click on create instance okay just keep these settings simple and here you have to change the uh, storage size to 30 GB so I will click on 30 GB I will just update it with the 30 GB okay just select it and save it okay because we will be running some few testing so 10 GB will be very very less so 30 GB will be enough okay next you have to allow uh, the traffic HTTP and HTTPS just create this instance it's very simple to create instance okay so as our instance is being created okay next what we have to do we have to do SSH to our instance just do SSH to your instance okay so it is going to do SSH to our instance it can you know take uh, 20 seconds just you have to also wait here authorize it okay so we are now connected okay so I will just make the size bigger so you guys can also see it all right okay I think yeah the size is enough now so we are connected with our instance so no we are going to do one thing here which is uh, I can say we are going to add our github uh, uh, self hosted runner to our google compute engine okay so do this okay you have to just go to your github repo okay I will just go to my github uh, repo okay so if I just go to my github repo in the actions tab just go, you have to go, just go to the settings first okay then you have to just go to actions click on runners add a new self-hosted runner okay as we're using Linux base instance okay so you have to run these all these commands okay just um, skip this optional command okay so I will be just copying these commands one by one to uh, run on my instance to integrate okay my self-hosted runner on our instance okay let's copy this first command and you have to just go to your self-hosted runner okay just paste it it will just create a directory okay and secondly you have to copy the second command it will uh, download the latest uh, runner package okay so then you have to copy the third command okay I uh, just skip this optional okay so just install this uh, installer that, that is we have downloaded okay so just run this as well okay and the next you have to configure it just copy this command okay when you are done with this command just paste it here okay it will just authenticate here you have to enter few things okay first of all you have to skip and the second you have to enter the name I will just enter VUJS uh, Google Compute okay GC okay simple and then you have to give just same name VUJS GC okay no you can see and also skip this it will by default working directory with this name okay so uh, this is configured okay next is uh, this step we will run this uh, step when we will be uh, running our github actions okay uh, this is the last step we will use uh, later on okay 
So by the way, we have configured our self hosted runner on Google Compute Engine uh, instance. Okay, it is connected. It is very simple to connect the Google uh, Cloud uh, instance. Okay, so you can use uh, uh, instance to for your self hosted runner. 